Welcome to EC Collaboration, a global name in unified communication, formerly Voice Bootcamp. Hi, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of EC Collaboration and Voice Bootcamp. In this uh, particular chapter, we're going to focus on the overview of UCCX subsystem. Cisco Unify, uh, Unified Context Center Express has various subsyst subsystems that provide different functionality. For example, you have a subsystem for database, then you have a subsystem for email. So basically, you can think about different components working together within a, a, as a system as a whole. So one of the most important subsystems that we need to focus on is called the JTAP integrations or Cisco Unified CM Telephony. <coughs> This subsystem can be accessed by going to the subsystem menu and then select CM uh, Telephony. This is where you provide the information of your call manager, uh, such as as a provider. Call control group, these are the CTI ports that you need to create uh, that will carry uh, the communication between the call manager and the contact center express. You have the triggers. Triggers are responsible for invoking a uh, contact center application. So when, for example, customer dials your help desk number, part of that help desk number is your trigger. Uh, data synchronization, if you need to synchronize your data information and from a client PC, such as your laptop, or when you, have, when you want your laptop to sync with um, contact center express server for various reason or with call manager, then you can uh, resync your JTAPI communications. <coughs> and then of course you have some advanced settings. Now the RM soft system is where the ACD is attributes are configured such as your uh, call center queue, uh, agent, with the uh, skills group, you have uh, uh, monitor, agent-based routing, teams. These are some of the stuff that you need to configure uh, when uh, that are related to uh, call, automatic call distribution. Now RMCCM stands for Resource Management Component. Now we will talk about more details about this uh, later in the lesson. The chat win, uh, configuration it allows you to configure uh, chat related settings so, so that you, an agent can communicate with the customer using a web chat. For that you need a social miner and uh, uh, various other applications, uh, presence for example. In a chat configuration, you can modify the ch chat contact service queue, social minor configuration, chat system parameters, widget, as well as teams. The outbound subsystem is where the outbound campaigns are configured and it has three categories, general, campaigns, area code, SIP gateway configurations. Again, we will customize this when we show you the outbound subsystem configuration later in, the, in this course. Now the database subsystem, which is used to set up JDBC access to, uh, for to customers' database uh, that are hosted in external database server. Now Contact Center Express supports Oracle, Sybase, uh, Sybase IBM DB2, SQL Server 2000, 2005, and 2008. Um, so whenever you need Contact Center Express applications to access external database, you would need to configure the database subsystems. Email subsystem will be used to define the local email server to be used for an outbound email. Uh, once established, contact center script can then send email to recipients. For example, you can um, a customer could send you an email, or you can send a response via email from the contact center to customer. A uh, customer could call in say, "I would like to get copy of my report," for example, and the contact center will take that information, generate a report, and email back that customer with that report. This is just an example. The media subsystem is used to create a DTMF type dialog group uh, for any voice contact that connects to, it to, to, to Cisco Unified CCX it must be allowed to dialog with the system using DTMF or ASR. So whenever uh, you co in contact with the customer you, the system might ask you to please enter the digit uh, or your account number or your PIN number in a form of digit or form of uh, 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 command. Well, to carry those input, it, it will it needs to create a media dialog, meaning that a logical path between the script or the co contact center engine and the customer. The dialog groups are the method of defining on a per contact basis how that contact will be allowed to dialog with the Cisco Unified CCX. 
Cisco Media Dialog Group specifies a number of DTMF dialog channels and are applied to the trigger. ICM Subsystems allows you to customize the settings that are related that requires by the ECCE or ICM communications, such as what port number you should be pointing to, what is the IP address of your PG, or should or any PG should be allowed. Uh, and as well as what are the variables that needs to be uh, received in a form of expanded variable from the ICM. It is also be used to declare ICM VR your script name, like what script names are supported uh, between the contact center enterprise and contact center express. MRCP subsystem, Media Recording Control Protocols, which is a ASR subsystem, which is used to set up access to one or more automatic uh, speech recognition. Uh, in order to configure this, you must define the providers, the servers, and the dialog group. Uh, we will take a look at the configuration later in this course. TTS subsystems is when you want the Contact Center Express to communicate with an external text-to-speech server. Now, TTS will use MRCP protocol to communicate with that particular server. MRCP uh, TTS prov uh, provider, which is IP address of the remote server, and various other settings must be, must be defined and configured. Again, we will look into the configuration of it later in this course. So that's pretty much it about the subsystem. Now, one of the two most important subsystems that you would probably play uh, most of your time, uh, spend most of your time, would be your JTAPI uh, subsystem for example this one and RMCM this is where all the agents are configured this is where all the queues are configured this is where all the skills are configured and customized and kind of a associate the group to the queue and queue to the skills for example so that's pretty much it for this chapter and I will see you in the next